think of humanity and the planet as one organism. What about the fact that growth is putting us all at risk? Quand on est parti, c'était le tout début de l'ère industrielle. C'est quoi ça Bah nous aussi, il paraît qu'on est passé par là il y a 3000 ans à peu près. C'est la compétition, l'écriture, la production en masse d'objets qui servent à rien, les guerres, le nucléaire, la destruction de la nature, les grandes maladies sans remède, la préhistoire quoi. Is that your signature <laughs> Oh, how did this happen For over 50 years, we've taught management theories that are based on flawed assumptions. So much focus has gone into faster, cheaper, newer that we've actually lost ground on things like safer, healthier, and more fair. Exponential growth is possible on a finite planet. Free markets are rational and efficient. Corporations have to maximize shareholder wealth. It's as if we're getting better and better at playing the wrong game. What exactly is the problem? Organizations are not going to universities or business schools to develop the skills that they need. Are we failing to create accountable leaders, people that are relevant and outcome driven? What if we adjusted the curriculum to align more closely to the needs of students and business? Schools need to articulate why they exist because there's a new paradigm of technology-driven business education emerging around the world. You see, globally, the 50 plus 20 project, the Globally Responsible Leadership Initiative, the B Team, all are questioning the model of business education. And as we said earlier, is it enough to make people who are best in the world? Don't we really need people that are best for the world. Business is society is business. The two are really one. And educators must teach and represent the two as a whole, not just the financial aspect. By reporting on social, economic and environmental costs, individuals and shareholders will make informed decisions that are relevant to a modern world. This approach must be embedded in everything that we do. Business schools traditionally concentrate on critical analysis. What if the final question was, where are the opportunities? Can we model how to make a difference? How to make knowledge and skill available to the world rather than question its value? Imagine environmentally specific situational content. Not conceptual frameworks, but practical applications that facilitate innovation, that remain grounded that are valuable to immediate strategy and behavior. In the knowledge economy, there are no secrets. To me, the educator's value is not in the content, it is in enabling and exploring the opportunities in the knowledge. There is a profound opportunity to develop globally responsible leaders. We can explore and enable these processes through collaboration, mentoring, networking assistance and developing leadership behaviours. There's much recognition of the problem, but little action. We need to start facilitating the change. What do we report on? How do we develop the criteria for accountability? We need to engage more with the diversity of people in our classrooms. It's a big task but the conversation of globally responsible leadership must be incorporated into everything that we do. It's time to let the idea of certainty go, to help our students find relevance, to bring about the change they feel is important. We need to ask appreciative questions as well as critical ones. We need more awards in academic life. We're not very good at appreciating and celebrating what we do well. It's time to shift the business curriculum to include alternative business models and improve upon the capitalist discourse we've been having for decades. What are the opportunities for innovation in our research outcomes? And how can we shift our literature base to an interface, a bridge between business and society? We need to mobilise our alumni. We need to talk to them on social networks. 
It is critically important that we inform the communities of the future about the economic, social and environmental costs and impact of their decisions. Globally responsible leaders will be humble communicators who base their decisions on values and rational logic. The leaders of the future will be embedded in networks, seeking collaborative, violent and competitive advantage. They will be reflexive, innovative and visionary, and able to cope with failure as much as success. Together, collaboratively instead of competitively, we can raise the Australian business community of the future. Ensemble, nous pouvons créer un monde meilleur. Nous pouvons construire les leaders globalement responsables. Together, we can create a bright future. We can build globally responsible leaders.